Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Karen from Baby's Love Nursery. I got a call from Ashley's mom today. Um, she says that she's coming along, that it's been a slow process, but she's doing all right. She's coming along. And, um, sorry, one second. I started itching as soon as I did the, opened the video. So Ashley's mom said to me, you know, you're such a blessing to us and and that made me feel very nice because sometimes I wonder if what I do touches others at all or not. Um, so that was just touched my heart. So nice. And um, But they got a, a letter or a card from somebody. I don't know who it was. Uh, she said it might have been Rose. I'm not sure. It was Rose or Tara or somebody else. Um, but the envelope was opened. It was an opened envelope when they when it got to them. So I don't know if anybody put anything inside that card or not. So I'm just telling whoever sent one. And if there's more than one, then we'll figure it out. So um, I talked to her for about a good 35 minutes. Ashley's mom and um, it was such a nice conversation. It was, you know, you never know when you, you know, talk to somebody um, who they're going to be. And she was just, just so nice, just so generous, just so nice and so warm and welcoming. And I just, um, she's the kind of person that I could talk to for a long time. <laughs> And um, she says, Ashley's coming along. I'm not going to divulge what she's gone through. That's not my business to tell. Um, but we're all still praying that she will um, be home before her birthday, which is May 21st. And so, Lord, please, Jesus, in your mighty name. Um, I don't know what else to tell. Um, I asked if they have support, and she said yes, that Ashley's grandma is still living and still alive and is supporting and and two brothers I think and lots of aunts and uncles and probably cousins and so there's a lot of support which is really good and um, and that it's just it's it's a trial it's you know I said usually the Lord sometimes gives us tests to make a, a great testimony later on in life I said I said, who knows? I said to her mama, who knows? That maybe in five years or so that that she's going to turn her, her story in, into, you know, a testimony for other girls to, to stay strong and through their battles. So, um, I, said, I, I said to her, I said, I know that God never tests anybody this much unless he knows, unless they're going to be real disciple for him, you know. So, I don't know what else to say. Um, I myself have been very unhinged and very depressed this past week. Just severely, just severely mind-altering. A whole different me. Just, just a lot of elements to that. And to hear that, um, that I'm a blessing to them, you know, um, felt very nice. I felt wanted and needed and and that was just a blessing right back to me. So, um, <laughs> for some reason lately I'm always on the edge of crying or on the edge of one of the problems is I'm in my flesh. I've not steadily read the Bible in a while, and I'm totally and entirely in my flesh. And I'm moved by my flesh, and I used to not be. I used to be so um, every day by studies and every day great conversation with God. And now that I haven't done that, and there's other reasons, and yada, 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 I'm just so fleshly all the time, just riding on my emotions. And God, I just, I hate that. So, um... Another reason I've been depressed is I realized when I was my when I hit 40 <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that I'm having this some kind of midlife crisis. I really do I'm, I'm not trying to tie this in with the Ashley stuff, but um 
and with Ashley's conversations, but um, I think that it's important to let y'all know that when I'm MIA, I'm really in a depressed, like, you can tell when you come into my house if I'm depressed because nothing's clean, everything's messy, things could be turned over, and <laughs> just, you know. Um, I think when I hit 40, it, it, it something started. And uh, if you've all seen that movie, Fried Green Tomatoes, where Evelyn is talking to Mrs. Threadgood outside after eating, when she's eating the Cracker Jack box, and, and uh, she says that I'm too young to be old, but I'm too old to be young. And I feel like that has just hit me. You know, I don't know why in my 39-year-old mind that I thought I was young then. I don't know what happened with that. But I, I just, I feel old. And I think that it would be okay, Lord, you know, if I had certain accomplishments. Um, but still. Being very much alone causes a lot of strife in my life. So, there's that. So I'm battling a lot still, and, and I'm not sure if I would have this much warfare in my life if I was constantly reading the Bible. I mean, I have to be honest, you know, I can't say that, that it's not all on my part. You know? Okay, let's pull up the morale here. <laughs> Um, so I'm so glad that I heard from Ashley's mom and we talked for a good 35 minutes and it was a wonderful conversation and um, I'm just so glad that she called and um, yeah so I think I'm gonna go <laughs> oh, oh so the upside to this all the depression thing is this morning I woke up and like that's enough that's enough. My grandmother would probably tell me to pull up my big curl panties and march on. And in her own very nice, kind way. Um, so this morning I started to really clean things out and to clutter. And I'm getting rid of a whole lot of stuff that I just don't need anymore. And, um, and, um, try that. <laughs> The TBN again is if somebody on the piano goes. It's <laughs> kind of um, distracting. Anyway, I'm I'm on Let Go. That little app called Let Go, and I'm selling uh, like eight things today just for today. I'm trying to sell the bassinet again, and there's a, quite a lot of things that I want on here already. There's a stroller on here. With the baby car seat for fifty bucks. There's just the um, the, the bottom portion of a stroller for twenty five. So I'm selling two pairs of shoes, some fabric off the bolt. I like this bed set, some Jergens lo lotion, my bassinet, um, the um, the chair that I just put Maggie in, and some stockings, some leggings. So. I'm doing that today. I'm trying to keep busy. If I keep busy, then I'm not thinking all, oh, poor me, stuff, you know. <laughs> um, so, it's hard when you don't have any space. When these, when these, they pack people in here like, you know, like little ants and these apartments. And um, just the closet space just really sucks. It just, it sucks. <laughs> So I'm trying to get rid of stuff and, and re, re kind of um, do things so that way I, I can just live a lot easier. And so that's what I've done all day is just, and that plus my mom and I, well, I went walking. She sat in the car. I took, I went four laps around today, the park, so that was nice. And um, then I've been cleaning all day, so that has been a very active day, which is wonderful. So, um, so yeah. I've got to use the ladies' room. I'm done. I'm out. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. And um, if 
if you want Ashley's mom's number, let me know. Alright, love y'all. Bye.